peace, 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 love, peace, and hair grease, y'all. What's going on? It's your boy KKC. And we back like your right shoulder blade. We never left. Man, that's some good music right there, Young Flavor. Um, Want to go ahead and send out my apologies about yesterday's show. We were supposed to be live for part two. Man, your boy ate some food that just did not agree, so I had to reschedule it. But anyway, we are here. We are here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. My mods, I wanna, want y'all to take over the chat and uh, push that, push that, push that. Man, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we have a special guest on the show. Before the show started, man, uh, a Facebook group that I'm in, when I tell you it was getting serious, I want Buddy to come on the show. Hopefully he's in the audience. If he is, we're going to get him on the platform. But anyway, tonight we are going to do part two of Umar Johnson's um, he want everybody to help him fast and talk to the spirits. Like I, I take issue with that and we're going to break it down and get into it. But first I'm going to do something new. Um, going to go over a little bit of news. Um, so I want to shout out Tariq Nasheed. I know some people have issues with Tariq and that's okay. Um, that's okay. But the reason why I'm shouting him out is because we're going to take a look at some of the news that's going on around um, the nation dealing with our people. And I feel like that's something we should discuss if I can get. Yeah, there it is. So, again, shout out to Tariq Nasheed, uh, FBATimes.com, FoundationalBlackAmericans.com. This is a website that you can co go to, get all your black news, keep up with what's going on. One of the things that have, uh, one of the stories I should say that is really trending is two stories, actually. You have this seven black people shot in drive-by shooting in Atlanta. And then you also um, have this story. Uh, race soldiers in Atlanta try to choke a black man to death before they shot him dead. These are two stories uh, that's really trending right now. It's crazy. Um, I know in the race soldier story or Atlanta um, police try to choke out this guy. Um, the officer that shot him has been fired. Of course, we want that to go further. Charges being brought up the whole nine yards um uh, from my understanding they actually burned down the wendy's where the guy uh was shot and so these are two stories amongst several that's going on around our nation man it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy but anyway we're going to get on to tonight's subject because we're going to be here for a minute I hope you have your libations. I hope you have your, everything um, you need because we're going to be here for a minute. So let me go ahead and get everything pulled up. Ah, so a uh, shout out to Black Man right here. Mr. Solomon Johnson, he's here. He's here. So. We're going to get into um, some commentary. We're going to get into some commentary tonight, everybody. But we're going to bring Black Man Solomon Johnson onto tonight's platform. He's going to be our special guest. Um, we want him to come on to the platform and help us understand. Maybe it's, it's something that we are missing when it comes to Dr. Umar Johnson. So Black Man feels that we just don't get it. You know, we, we need to rally behind Umar Johnson. We need to help him the whole nine yards. So once I have some people in the chat saying, bring him on, I got some. If y'all want me to bring black man 
onto the platform right now before we get started. Let me see y'all put some number ones in the chat. Let me see some number ones in the chat. If y'all want to get into the commentary, get into the video, break it down, we'll do that first. Or if you want to see or hear black man, put your number ones in the chat. I'll wait. I'll wait. I see I, I see one one like right now. Right now that one is, is floating by itself. Oh, that there goes some more ones. Okay. Let me just let me know what we doing. Let me know what we doing tonight, y'all. If y'all want black man to come on on the panel, let me get you number ones in, in, in the uh in the chat. And we'll go ahead and bring them on. All right, so it looks like majority is kind of ruling right now. So okay, so here here it is. I just dropped the link into the chat, <clears throat> and so hey, come on, come on online, man. We want to hear you out. I told you I'm gonna give you a platform to speak your truth, speak your speech. <laughs> I wish I had that voice recorded. Speak. Your speech, nigga. Speak your speech, <laughs> man. And so, as we wait for brother black man to, you know, come on 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 the platform, we're gonna just what y'all want to talk about. We waiting on black man. I ain't gonna move forward with none of my commentary until black man comes on the platform. Black man, there goes the link right there in the chat. All you have to do is click the link and come on on, uh, on the screen, man. We're waiting. We want to hear from you. The people want to hear from you. Man, the people want to hear from you. So we're waiting. As we wait, again, what do you all want to discuss? We're going to talk about it. About it. So while we wait on black, man. Go ahead and find something to spin in the background. This is gonna be interesting, dude. Cause he was when I tell you he was going in, he was going in. Had a lot to say. He was going in on the sisters. I tried to warn him. I'm like, man, we got some vicious sisters in this group, man. Like you can't just come in here and just debo. And if anybody wants to come on, uh, if anybody wants to come on a, on a panel, we can make that happen. There's the link. If anybody wants to come in and and share their um, just just share a story, talk about what we've been discussing. If you want to call out black man, let's do it. Like. So black man is trying to tell us to fall in line. That's really that's really all you can say is that we wrong and we're not giving Umar Johnson the chance. Oh, oh, oh. We got somebody. We have somebody. Is this him? Um black man is telling me that you have to connect your microphone. So let's see. In order for me to bring you on, bro, you got to have uh, at least your microphone connected. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to show your face, but you have to connect your microphone so we can hear you. In order for me to add you, you got to do that, brother. Let me, uh, I don't know if I can. I don't think I can tell him. Uh, one of my mods, uh, type in the chat. Let him know that he has to connect at least his microphone. I see you here on the platform, brother, but you got to have a microphone or the system won't let me add you. So, 
so we we're still waiting he's trying to get get in here y'all so we're gonna we're gonna be patient we're gonna be patient this is gonna be <laughs> man this is gonna be classic i love it let me uh i'm gonna drop the link back in the chat again Again, we want uh, anyone that wants to share their views, thoughts, make sure you click that link. I just dropped it back in the chat. This is the Receipt Show here with your boy KKC. Let's see if black man's gonna come along. If black man is not on here, what time is it? That's uh Joan Rudith, Rudith excuse me, Joan. That's fine. We still gonna be here. Oh, wait a minute. That just came out of nowhere. I don't want to hear that at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. Get it. Hold on real quick. Man, that was a lot. All right, so if black man is going to come on the platform anytime soon. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Um, I just dropped the link in the chat. Mods, please share the link. Um, I see black man is asking to get in. Um, black man, all, you, you just got to click the link, brother. Just, just click the link, and when you click the link, make sure you unmute your mic. You do not have to show your face. You can keep your face hidden. You don't have to show, or if you want to show your face, you can, but um, you have to unmute your mic. That's the only way that you can come on the platform. So again, we we are waiting on black man. He's trying to get into the uh, to the room, brothers and sisters. So just just give him a minute. We ain't being disrespectful tonight. We're gonna we're gonna be respectful. I told this man that we are going to be respectful. So with that being said, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to upset them. I'm serious, y'all. We got to show that we, you know, we can we can act right. But uh, where where you at? Where you where you at, sir? We we need you to come on on the come on. The talking about we're giving you a free platform. And this goes for any Umarian that may be out there. We're giving you a platform. You can come on the key, King Kong Crazy platform and speak your speech. Speak your speech. This is a, a community that maybe we're missing something. But, all right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and move forward. I'm tired of waiting on black man. I'm gonna go ahead and chalk black man up as an L. I don't think this dude is coming. If you do want to get on the platform, if you're still in the chat, black man, you can. You're more than welcome. As soon as I see you, I will stop the commentary and we'll go ahead and bring you up. But we're gonna go ahead and move forward, man. I hope he does call in. Let me go ahead and pull up today's video. Let me go ahead and pull it up. Give me one second. Man, that dude talking about I was ready to give you all that work. Man, you ain't ready to do nothing, seems like. All right, so this is going to be part two of. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out the comments. Yes, he, he said he was going to give us that work, man. I, I don't know. But 
like I was saying, this is part two of Umar Johnson's fast and sp spiritual altar building. And I want you guys, I, I'm not sure how many saw part one to this video, but in part one, we discussed how going and messing with the spirit world can potentially be, be very dangerous, especially uh, for s someone who is a beginner and don't know what they're doing. And we're I'm going to come. I'm not going to say we are. I'm coming from the aspect of Christianity. Why? Because that's where I come from. That's my background. I'm not well versed within African spirituality. I can tell you the names of the deities only because I've heard these names talked about um, in the African spirituality community, conscious community, whatever you want to call yourself. And that does not mean that because I've heard of these de de these deities, excuse me, and because I've uh, seen some videos that I, I feel like I know anything about these spirits. I don't. So in part one, we watched Umar. If you saw it, uh, Umar showed a Bible, a Torah, and like three other books that he's using while he's going on this spiritual fast. I'm not a Muslim. I identify with Christianity. I do. No, I do not believe in Sky Daddy, but I do believe that there is a being that is more powerful than us. And for that reason, I associate it with Christianity to the best of my ability. With that being said, this man brought up two Bibles and said that he was going to be reading scriptures while he's on his fast. And for that reason, I'm speaking to him and saying fasting is one thing. But building an altar and crossing over into the spirit world is a whole nother ball game. You don't have to fast and build altars at the same. You do not have to do that. You can fast the a lot of time that you're gonna fast for for that day, and from that point, you can go on about your business. Say your prayers or meditate or whatever you're going to do. You do not have to associate fasting with building a spiritual altar. Building a spiritual altar will not get you any closer in your spiritual walk while you fast. It won't. It's just a gateway. So we get tonight's video from... King Kong Consciousness, uh, fa uh, not Facebook, YouTube page. I have only seen, I want to say maybe two minutes, like a full two minutes of this video here. So here we go, finna break it down. Uh, hold on. I recommend that you build a spiritual altar. I recommend that you build a spiritual altar. I recommend that you build a spiritual altar. All you need is a table or a bookshelf or a tabletop or a little corner on the floor. Get you a white sheet, a white sheet. The color white does not represent European people. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. I, maybe I missed that part. Excuse me? Excuse me, dog? The color white don't what? White people. There's melanated and non- Hold on, man. I recommend that you build a spiritual altar. I recommend that you build a spiritual altar. I recommend that you build a spiritual altar. All you need is a table or a bookshelf, or a tabletop, or a little corner on the floor. Get you a white sheet, a white sheet. The color white does not represent European people.
the color white does not represent European people. This is coming from Umar, y'all. Am I hearing this right? Hold on. Maybe I, I, I'm i tripping because I have not seen uh, this tab. I, I mean, not tab. I have not seen that portion of the video. Or if I did, I wasn't paying attention. So you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me, dog? You may not bring your white wife. You may not bring your white wife. You may not bring your white wife. If you bring a non-African, you and the non-African will be escorted. You may not bring your white wife. You may not bring your white wife. You may not bring your white wife. If you bring a non-African, you and the non-African will be escorted. Man. Man, so like, what am I missing here? Like, what what am I missing here? This dude just associated, well, said that white is not associated with European people, but we just looked at a clip. We just looked looked at a clip. You may not bring your white wife. You may not bring your white wife. But white is not associated with European. Here, here you go. I mean, y'all have the same ears that I that 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 I used to listen to. So, I mean, you know, let's go ahead and and let's get back to the video. Wow, I don't know how I missed that one. I don't know how I missed that one. And like I said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, uh, man. All right, so here we go. We're getting back into it. Don't forget if if black man shows up in the chat, make sure he clicks the link and tell him to unmute his phone and uh come on on the panel because we really want to hear from him this evening. Everybody wants to know. What you got to say about Umar Johnson, my guy? So, if you're in the chat, here's the link for you. But um, we're we're moving forward. There's no such thing as white people. There's melanated and non-melanated people. That's it. There's no such. And let me know if you guys can't hear the video. Thing is, white people. There's people with color and people without color. That's it. White represents the white light of consciousness. White represents the white light of consciousness. Our ancestors are reflective of the white light of consciousness. So, so now white represents the white light of consciousness. So now consciousness has light. Consciousness has light, y'all. And white represents the white light of it. All right. So you need a white sheet and you need a white candle. He's everything's got to be white these days. You got white real estate agents, white lawyers, white tablecloths, white candles. A white sheet and you need a white candle for the ancestors, a white sheet and a white candle for the ancestors. OK. And then once you get your candle, you're going to need you some incense. Pick up some incense I got. Okay. Frank. Some incense. Incense and myrrh with some sacred sage. Some frankincense and myrrh. You know, that that's, that's two things that was brought to Jesus at the manger. But I, I digress. Frankincense and myrrh. Okay, with some sage, you got your candle, you got your sheet, you got your incense, and then you need a vessel of water. You need a vessel of water. You need some water. Water. Why do you need water? For the ancestors, water 
is very important for spirit. Hmm. Okay. Get your water. And then you want to decorate your altar. Not too much, but you want to decorate your ancestral altar with objects that contain the ashe of your departed relatives. What are we talking about? See, for one, that's very, very vague. You want to decorate your altar not too much. What is considered too much was considered too little. When you are when you are explaining things such as this, building an altar, an altar represents power. OK. To just leave to just make a vague statement like that, you don't want to decorate your altar too much. What's too much? What's too little? You're saying that you need incense and you, you need water and it's for the ancestors. Well, what does it signify? What does it mean? You're not breaking that down. I had a conversation earlier today. Just because you tell partial truths doesn't make it a whole truth. It's still a lie. You're not being all, all the way up front with it, especially when you're talking about something such as building an altar. Your grandmother's pipe. If you have your grandmother's pipe, put that on the altar. You have your grandfather's favorite hat. Put it on the altar. Why can't the grandfather have a pipe and the grandmother have a hat? But no, man. Your little niece, she passed away. You have her little uh, shell top Adidas booties. Put them on the altar. You have your cousin's favorite brush. Put it on the altar. Little objects from all your blood relatives, only blood relatives. Only blood relatives. You put them on the altar because that invites their energy. It invites their energy. Okay. Okay. And when you're ready to talk to your ancestors and for the 21 day fast, you must sit and talk to them every day. For the 21 day fast, you must sit and talk to them every day. Okay. For every day, he wants you to sit and talk to the ancestors. For the 21 day fast, you must talk to your ants because we're building up strength, connection, power, blessing, grace, ashe. So you want to talk to your ancestors every day of the fast, every day. And you light your candle and light your incense, pour your libation. I, rep I recommend you get a plant, get yourself a plant. Get yourself a plant. You have a big vase of water, clear, beautiful vase. Get something nice. Don't use this. Don't use this. See, <laughs> that's what he going to be using. That's where the water in that, that vase came from. Get a vase, fill it with water, and then you pour the water into the plant. A couple drips, and you call each ancestor's name three times. Three is the number of access. He just told us why he says everything three times. Three is the number of access. He just blew the lid wide open as to why he say everything three times. Black man, I see you. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to go ahead and stop the live. We're going to stop, stop right here. And we're going to uh, go ahead and bring Brother Black Man onto uh, and onto the platform. Black Man, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, before we get started, before we get started, I want to thank you for coming onto the platform. Um, I, I'm serious. We're not going to be disrespectful. But before you start, I want to make sure everybody in the chat can hear you and I. So. If um, you guys can hear me and black man, please type a number one in the chat. And black man, we're just going to give them a second, you know what I'm saying, to get everything going, okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Oh. I, I need you guys to type a one in the chat if you can hear me and black man. Okay, I'm I'm seeing some ones pop up. Okay, so 
so far, black man, we've been covering tonight, breaking down Umar Johnson, and he wants everybody to build an altar. You have free range to talk to the audience about what it is that we are missing that we need to, to start seeing yeah. so we can support Umar Johnson. You now yes. have the floor. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, the first thing I would like for uh, you guys to realize that uh, Dr. Umar is a well-educated man. I mean, he has a number of degrees. I don't think I have to go into detail about how many degrees he has, but he has a number of them. And what he's trying to do is build a school. I know in that group, a lot of people was like trying to, you know, talk about him and say he's not doing, he's not doing this, not doing that. But you guys are forgetting the main reason, the main purpose is the school. So I want you guys to like focus on like take all your energy and, and, and help the guy, you know, donate money, support him, you know, help him clean up or whatever to, to, to get the school up and running, you know. Okay. So you stated that you want us to donate and help him get this um, school up and running. Yes. Instead of uh, talking about him, making all these false, you know, claims and saying he's uh, getting evicted and, you know, all the, all these things y'all uh, keep saying, you know, support them. I, I feel like as, as, as black people, especially black men, we need to support each other, uplift each other instead of trying to just bring each other down, you know? Yeah, that, that that's absolutely right. We need to support each other. So let me ask you, how long have you been following uh, Umar Johnson? Oh, man, uh, he, he came to my city. Uh, this was about 2013. He came and did a, a lecture at a, at a school, and it was the most powerful thing, you know, I, I seen, you know, and I became a follower. You know, he, he got into a little incident um, with, uh, I forgot the name. A little, a little beef, and I kind of, you know, was thrown off by that. I'm like, okay, why is he beefing? But then I came back around and realized everybody makes mistakes, you know. And just that, that, that the idea of a school for black kids is, 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 is what's really got me. And I, I just, I just want to support them, you know. Just, just, just support the man is all I'm saying. Okay, okay. And so, do you believe Umar Johnson is being transparent in everything he's telling you guys about? Opening up FDMG. Um, hello, black man. Can can you hear me? Hello, black man. Did 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 I lose you? Um, black, you black man. Me? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, you're back. Yes. So um, I was asking, um, do you believe that Umar Johnson is being very transparent about um, opening the school and what's going on with the property in Wilmington, Delaware? Uh, yes. I, 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 like I said, I think I was uh, I cut off. I believe he's a, a, a really trying to open up a school, but I believe he ran into some trouble and he's not, you know, like admitting it as far as like how much it would cost as far as like the repairs and things like that. So I, I kind of think he doesn't want to come out and say, okay, he's having a little trouble in certain areas because, you know, people just run with it and say, oh, you are a scammer, you're this, you're that. You know, so I, I kind of feel like he's not, you know, being all the way truthful with that, but I do believe he's he's uh, taking the money and he really wants to open the school. I mean, just 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 listen to his uh his uh his uh, lectures, you know, his uh his uh, uh YouTube videos. You know, he talks a lot about that school, and I I, I truly believe, you know, that he's going to open that school. Okay, and so the the first question I I have for you, um, so are you aware? Of the IRS and how the IRS works. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I have a oh, pretty, right. pretty good idea. Okay, so you do understand that if you go out and you obtain an EIN number, okay, yeah, and you default on those taxes, you do not get the opportunity to ditch that EIN and just create a new E. Diane, you do understand this called tax fraud, correct? Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so do I need to pull up the irs.gov website and show you 
the first EIN number that Umar Johnson opened up for what was FDMG Leadership or RBG Leadership Academy. Do you want me to pull that information up for you and show you how that is still in a um, rev uh, it's still on the revocation list according so, to so the you, IRS? You you you're gonna have to explain. So so you're saying he's he's doing tax uh, evasion is, is what you're saying? Yes, sir. I, I can pull all that information up. Not only can I pull that information up, I can also show you the videos from Make a Change. Make a Change is a individual who. Broke this information all the way down. What wait, I wait, did. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I, I got a, I got a question. Just, just, just to make uh, clear. So your belief is that Umar is taking the money and 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 keeping it for herself. He's not. He doesn't have any plans on opening a school. That's 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 your belief. That that is what's going on. I can also pull up information of what Wilmington, Delaware, said. What is to happen to the property? That Umar Johnson claims he's going to turn into a school. The city doesn't know anything about an FDMG leadership academy opening up. You do understand, and you know that, right? Um, I, I understand what what, what what you're saying. I, I I don't believe it though. I believe okay, he's going to open the uh, the uh, school. You know? <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. And, brother, if you don't mind, um, I was not prepared to have to pull this information out. And I don't mind, if you don't mind, just holding on for a brief moment. If you have anything that you would like to say to the audience while I gather this information, you are more than welcome to talk to the audience, okay? Yes, my, my, my main thing with the audience is, is to stop being disrespectful. I, I believe you guys are... Uh, being being very disrespectful to 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 the black man, and and I'm I am pro black, so um my biggest thing is just you know keep those slick comments to yourself and support the man. All right, and there you have it. So let me do this. I'm gonna take. I had the FDMG uh, website pulled up on the screen, but uh, while I put this information. Pull it up. I don't want the audience to just sit here and not hear anything. So I'm going to have some music playing in the background, if that's okay with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, uh, I, I need, I need facts, because some of the claims you guys were making about, you know, his, his, his apartment, you know, being evicted, just all types of outlandish, you know, claims, you know, I, I, I need, you know, proof of that, facts, you know, receipts, you know? Man, you need facts, you need receipts. Yeah, yeah. And uh, some of those claims are just like, you know, and then somebody talking about uh, they got a degree and they doing better and all that. Out this uh, music real quick. Give me one second. Are you able to see the screen or are you not able to see the screen? Uh, I don't think I'm able to see the screen here. Okay. Well, you'll be able to go back and view the video. Um, all you have to do is cut. I, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a question. I'm just reading the chats, and I, I just want to uh, let people know that uh, did, did anybody see that Umar on the Roland Martin show? He clearly stated and showed proof of his uh, degrees. You know, I just wanted to put that out there. No, um, that's a correction. I, I, mu I must say he did not show his degrees. Um, as a matter of fact, he listed degrees that he obtained along the way in the same major. So if I'm a music major and I obtain my first music degree and then I go on to uh, obtain my second music degree and then I become um, a master in music, I don't get the opportunity to say that I have three degrees. I I have a master's degree in that subject. And that's where Umar Johnson tried to manipulate the people by saying that he has these degrees. He also 
um, said on that interview that he has a principal's certificate in which, yeah, yeah. He, uh, which he tried to associate as a degree. A principal certificate it has not been a degree since I've been alive on this earth and I'm 35 um, on the 28th. So no, that, that's not going to be good enough. But I do have what the city says they're supposed to do with that entire area. Okay? I pulled that up. Okay. And and that this document is called the Northeast Brandywine Riverfront. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to drop it into the chat for anyone that would like to take a look at this document at their t own time, okay? This is a document that the city is having discussions about. It was drafted on March 26th of 2019. Now, he purchased that property in February of 2019, okay? Okay. He purchased FDMG or the, the old Moyer Ca Academy in February. He made a video all, all about it. So yeah, he, he uh, put put some work in and everything. Yeah, I saw that Okay. Video. So this draft is for discussion purposes only. All right. I'm fixing to cut straight to the section that talks about the Moyer School property. Again, this was as of last year. And when we contact the city, they have not given us any updates that this information has changed. So as of right now, this information still stands. OK, here we go. It says this complex of buildings is located on two separate separate parcels divided by 17th Street. The school is closed and the buildings are vacant, boarded up and blighted. Blighten means dilapidated. I'll let you look that up on your own time. Dilapidated. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Portions of the property were pre previously owned by Hercules Inc., a chemical business which included the largest of the three buildings. Although there are records of underground storage tank remo removal occurring on this site in 1991, there are no other records regarding environmental conditions. So we now know that that school, before it was even a school, it was a chemical site. Let's keep on going. The AWP, which is the group that's discussing the plans on of this whole area, Proposes one possible option, which included the acquisition of the Moyer School by the Boys and Girls Club. So, what they are saying? Before Umar Johnson came to Wilmington, Delaware, talking about he was going to open up a school for black boys and girls, the Boys and Girls Club that is right next door wanted to acquire that property for black boys and black girls and white boys and white all kids in that neighborhood. Okay, let's okay. keep going. Okay, but but he he uh, uh, did uh, buy the school. That's that's the main the main thing. He really didn't, and I can prove that too. So hold on, let's keep going. The Moyer School for Boys and Girls Club. Okay, that long term proposal included rising the existing buildings, pretty much demolishing them for a new outdoor recreational facility associated with the club, giving them one continuous campus. In mid-March 2019, it came to the attention of the city that the ownership of this site recently changed. Due to this recent property transfer, coordination with the new property owner is not reflected as part of the area-wide plan. No communication with the new property owner has occurred regarding their intentions 
and no formal plans have been submitted to the city for the property. So if Umar Johnson is trying to build a state-of-the-art state school for black boys and black girls, why doesn't the city know anything about his plans? About his plans to open up the school? Yes. You cannot do anything to that magnitude without approval from the city. It doesn't matter who you are because we don't all have our own jurisdiction. We don't have our own government as a Wait, but as, is it is it is it the, the 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 school is going to be private, so I don't think he has to uh to tell them anything if it's going to be a private school. No, 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 no. This is what you're not understanding, brother. Listen to me. I cannot sit back and make declaration in a city and say that pretty much let me just break it down to you. In order for Umar to not say anything to the city whatsoever, he will have to have some type of sovereign status and he will have to declare that part of Wilmington, Delaware as his own nation. So okay, okay. he will have to say that FDMG is no longer a part of Willing Wilmington, Del Delaware. And here's the, the proper paperwork to show we now have sovereign status and we don't have to say anything to you. We go under our own laws and we're ruled by our own government. Since that is not the case, he has to go through the city because that's part of the United States. <laughs> he don't he doesn't have his own jurisdiction. And he cannot go into Wilmington, Delaware, and just say, I'm going to open up school for black boys and girls. And here it is. The city I'm, I'm not, has I'm, to I'm approve sure he just didn't. I'm sure he just didn't, didn't go and say he's going to open the school. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the uh, city approved. I mean, he had the keys. I'm, I mean, you know, we're... I saw I saw a couple of videos, you know, he had the keys. He he was in there doing a tour. He was telling everyone everything, mm -hmm. he, you know, he's going to fix it. And, that, and, uh, that's what, that's what you have. I mean, that that's the, that's, that's the video. Okay, so let me ask you, you know, ask you this, sir. As we go on into this document, um, it pretty much says that K-12 management is the owner of uh, the Moyer Academy. So how do you explain, explain that? And you keep stating or making reference to the fact that he has the keys. He has the keys. Yes, yes. But again, well, can can I, you can you explain that? Then how did how did he have the keys to the to the school? I mean, I, it was, it was one video. Fact, I, he was, he was, he was up, in the yeah. gym. You know, I can he was pull, in the gym. Yeah, I can, I can pull up the video. I can pull up that video right now, and I can pause it at the angle where it shows he's not even holding the key correctly to insert it into the door, nor is there footage that he put the key into the door. Wait, the wait, wait, wait. So, so you're, you're saying he, he broke into the building? That's, that's what you're saying? This is what I'm saying. The city does not know anything about what this man is talking about. And it's also showing that he's not the owner of that property. K-12 management owns their property, not Umar Abdullah Johnson. Yeah, I mean, it's K-12. K I mean, I, I obviously I haven't been through the uh, uh, the paperwork you have. I'm after that, I mean, it's, it's it's here right here on the, on, yeah, you know, but, but on the live. K-12, K because, you know, that could be a name he uh, he has for the school. No, I mean, no. I'm pretty sure K his name is not. No, sir. No, 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 no. K-12 management was the company that owned the Moyer Academy. Oh, you said the school that was okay. Okay. Yeah, they are known for writing fraudulent, fraudulent loans. So Umar Johnson has in the in the in the world of real estate, Umar Johnson has what you call a carry back loan. He doesn't Explain own that. those a carry back loan. Yes, sir. Give me one second. Wait. So 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 your what, what I'm getting from you is. You're basically saying Dr. Umar Johnson, the one that's, that's on YouTube that that, that that I've been bringing so much knowledge to the community. You're saying he's basically just a fraud, and none of none of what he's doing is true. Exactly. I'm just gonna put it to you, like 
I mean, do, do you even believe he was he was a principal? He was a school no. psychologist. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna tell everybody to do, because I'm just that guy. If you want to know the truth about Umar Johnson, and you you're willing to pay a a, a few dollars, go to Intellis.com. Intellis.com, and you can pay a little subscription, and you can get all the information you want on that food. All the information you want on Umar Johnson at Intellis.com. Free advertisement. It's public record. You can get anybody, you anything you want to know on that dude. So, to answer your question, a carryback loan is a loan made by a seller to a buyer to finance part of the purchase price. For example, a buyer who was not able to get a large enough mortgage to purchase a house might get a carryback loan from the seller to make the difference. So he has a loan with K-12 management. To, oh, okay. And he's not going to be able to purchase that property. For one. Why not? But can't can he can he pay back the uh, the loan though? <laughs> no, my brother, you know, he can't. For why, one, why for one, the 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 status of that property, the zoning status of that property. You can't build a school on the current zoning status of that property. Umar Johnson knows this. That's why his scam has changed. See, he's not pushing FDMG no more. He's not really talking about FDMG anymore. What Umar Johnson has done, he went back to what got him popular with the George Floyd, rest in peace, riots and protests. He went back to talking his black activism and got everybody revamped up and hyped. And, oh, man, Uwan Johnson is back on his shit, man. He listen to what he said. But ask yourself, have has Umar Johnson been in the streets? This is the perfect time for him to really take. Yeah, claim. I saw, yeah, I, I saw I saw a video. He said it was uh, it was too many uh, nine, nine black people, I guess. So let me ask you this. Why? Why hasn't he started his own rally? I have I put up a video in my last live of four girls that started a protest that led to thousands of people showing support. Why hasn't Umar put on a protest by himself? I mean, for, I just for black folks. Yeah, I can't. I, I yeah, I can't. I can't answer that for for him. You know, I'm just saying. You know why he? I'm. I don't. I, I honestly, I don't want you to answer it. I want you to think about it. This is a pro-black dude that's telling you what you should be doing as far as donating and helping him. And now black people are in a major world of distress. And where is Umar Johnson? On YouTube telling you to build altars and talk to the spirits. We have videos of Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton is getting ready to lead a, another one, a one, a million man march, black man march, man, million man black man march. Al Sharpton is about to do that. Why isn't Umar Johnson doing that, man? He talks about he's the most requested scholar. Why hasn't anybody requested him to come and speak? We've heard from T.I. We've heard from Killer Mike. Killer Mike tore it down on the mic. He didn't care what, what they said. He spoke his mind. Where is Umar Johnson? Where is Umar Johnson? Where is Umar Johnson? Can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, T.I. and you said uh, Killer Mike. Those are yeah. celebrities. Umar Umar Johnson is 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 a true black uh, Pan Africanist. You know he he's, he's no, he's, he's not really down. He's not. My brother, come on now. I mean, have 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 you ever have you really just uh, sit back and like listen to uh, uh, Doctor Umar without making any? As a matter of fact, um, I met like Umar Johnson in two thousand and fourteen, two thousand fifteen, um, at Fisk University. I sat on the front row, um, at his lecture. I was the one who started his email list so th that he could create the a then newsletter to keep everybody informed. So I'm well 
familiar with Umar Johnson. Okay, yeah. I didn't so. just go to a, a lecture and just I, I sat in the crowd. That that's not what I did. And I'm also able to speak to um certain real estate because I hold a license I got in a, property and casualty. So okay, I, I want got you to know. I got a uh, qu- I got a question here. So okay. so if if you know because I, I donated a, a couple of times, not a lot, but I donated a couple of times with Mark. So you're saying all the donations he has spent, like isn't that like a, a felony, a crime, or you know, I'm pretty sure he, he would go to jail if uh, if he was out here defrauding people. Just because it hasn't happened yet does not mean it's not gonna happen. You gotta think when things like this happen, the IRS and the government gives you enough rope to so that you can fully hang yourself with no question with no questions asked mm. just don't get fooled by the fact that oh he hasn't went to jail yet so he must be doing something right see the thing is Umar Johnson feels like he's a celebrity himself he's not mm-hmm. just go ahead I mean, I was I was gonna say he is the uh, top top uh, scholar of you know our generation. You know, but based on uh, what is that based on, sir? Like, ask yourself, what is what are you comparing that to? What you mean? What am I comparing that to? I'm I'm, I'm if, comparing it to all the all the leaders out here today. You know, he's he's the one that's actually out here, has the degrees, has the uh the uh, knowledge. You know, I mean, just. Just listen to him. That's that. That's that's my biggest thing. I've listened to many uh, Dr. Umar uh, Johnson so, videos. So now. let me ask you something. So a couple, you know. Let me ask you something. I'm, so I'm gonna keep it real. Before, so. I'm gonna keep it real with you because you sound like a, a a very intelligent brother, bro. Yeah, yeah. So if I came and told you, hey man, uh, give me give me two hundred dollars, bro, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open up this this business, and I'm gonna teach you know everybody in the community. Like you know how 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 to how to start a business, bro. I'm I'm finna put everybody on. Just give me two hundred dollars, bro. He was like, all right, man. You give me two hundred dollars. Ten years later, I'm still saying, hey, bro, come, man, man, get just give me two hundred dollars, bro. Like I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like man, everybody working against me, bro. Like everybody trying to stop me, bro. They they. Would you let a, a, a person in your personal life keep finessing you out of $200 or you, would you be ready to smack the shit out of them and ask for your money back? I, I don't know if you faded away or not, but I'm I'm uh, I'm really asking you that. Like, can you, can you, can you hear me? I, I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah. I I I'm just saying on 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 my personal level, I want to um keep the faith in Umar. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to tear down every black man that's trying to do something. You know, I always hear like let's let's support the black community, let's do this, let's do that. But as soon as someone try to do something, we're so quick to tear them down. And talk about them, and just you know, I like once let's 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 just support them, man, and 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 that's what I'm gonna do with, with, with Umar. You know, I do believe eventually, you know, he's gonna open a school, or or maybe it's not, you know, a big school. Maybe it's like some small private school or something. But you know, let's just keep the faith, man. Like let's let's not tear down every single black person that's trying to do something. You know, this is the thing, brother. What is he trying to do? Everybody wants to help him. What is he? He 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 won't even get off his ass to get in the streets at a time where black people can use leadership. You say that he's he has all this scholarship. Okay, well where is it? At? Where is it at? I mean, I can show you. Have you ever heard of Cornell X? Quinnell X is, is is a black attorney. He has more scholarship than Umar Johnson. His six degrees hasn't gotten him anywhere with that school. 
I don't know if you've ever been to college, and if you're talking, I can't hear you right now. So I, I just want you to listen to me for a second. I don't know if you've ever been to college, but if you have been to college and you start obtaining the level of degrees that Umar Johnson claims that he has, you build relationships. You build rapport and you build status with individuals that will be more than happy to donate to you and your cause. Nobody is donating anything to Umar Johnson except for folks on your level and my level. It's not that celebrities are not rallying and trying to help him. This man in 2018 was seen in a in Japan taking a Japanese bath. And you don't you don't question that? At what point does the you, the dude stops talking and starts putting action behind what he's saying. You can go on somewhere with all that talking, bro. That at least where I come from, all that talking, bro. We ain't we ain't got time for that, bro. Either you putting up or you shutting up. All that talking is 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 too much, bro. Especially with you, with you playing with people's money. Like you have to ask Charlemagne even asked this man where the school at. He's off the he he done got off the platform. Like that that just lets you know that that brother's lost in the sauce, man. It's it's a it's a sad day. It's a sad day for that cat. This man really f- believes that Umar Johnson. Is going to open a school. You got to stay away from folks like that, man. If you if you try to tell them, if you try to tell them, and they keep on trying to, you know, but 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 man, he done drink the Kool Aid, man. He done drink the Kool Aid. This show done turned into. Something that it wasn't even supposed to turn into. We supposed to be talking about the spirit world. We done took time out and addressed black man. So if anybody, <laughs> if if black man has converted any one of you all to listening uh, back to Umar Johnson, man, I don't, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know what to say, man. He was supposed to tell us why we should. Follow Umar. I don't even think like we got that far. And so I really don't even want to play any more Umar Johnson tonight, man. I don't even want to hear that man's voice. I was supposed to play the video and we supposed to break down the whole video. I don't even want to do that because I don't want anybody coming to this channel at tonight after t- after letting him talk. I don't want anyone coming to this channel tonight and getting any ideas that it's okay to listen to that dude. So I'm just going to go on into my commentary of why I feel like you should be careful when you're doing these um when you're doing th- building this this altar to the um, spirits and, and, you know, all this jazz.
All right. So give me one second. I'm trying to pull up. Man, this dude is he's he's sad, man. I really think I at first I felt like he was trying to be a troll, but I really feel like this dude is is for real, man. I don't pulled up all of these links. Okay. So let me just go ahead and show you really quick. We we're looking at Wikipedia.com and it's breaking down real quick what the spirit world is. It says, let me uh make sure it's blown up on screen so you guys can see it all right so spirit world according to spiritualism is the world or realm inhabited by spirits both good or evil various spiritual manifestations whereas religion regards an inner life spirit world is regarded as an external environment for spirits Although independent from the natural world, both the spirit world and the natural world are in constant interaction. Through mediumship, these worlds can consciously communicate with each other. The spirit world sometimes described by mediums from the natural world in trance. Okay, so that breaks down spiritual realm. You can't say that you believe in African spiritual alchemy. I don't know. A- African spirituality and you don't want to fool with the you know you you don't believe in in in, in a such thing as spirit world. It, it it just you got to make it make sense so oh black man is back <laughs> he's he's back in the chat i seen him pop up so real quick some of the dangers I feel again in doing building the altar and and all of that mess. You have what is called the witching hour or the devil's hour, and I'm gonna pull that up real fast. We ain't gonna touch on touch on it long. We can ready to wrap this up, or if anybody else wants to come on on the panel. We can make this an open panel discussion tonight. That's pretty much what it turns into. So let's see. Here it is, Witching Hour. So take a look at the Witching Hour. In folklore, the Witching Hour or the Devil's Hour is a time of night associated with supernatural events. All right. So usually... In Christianity, that time frame is gonna be three p. I mean, three a.m. Like around three a.m., three twelve a.m. Why? Because in Christianity, it's believed that that's the time that Christ was crucified. So in the video before tonight, Umar Johnson was talking about gemini and gem and the fast starting in gemini and gemini having duality so the duality portion of it would be 3 p.m christ died 3 a.m that's the devil's time to mimic the hour of christ's death so he was saying that you were or some individuals were, were going to be um fasting for about 15 hours per day and that he wanted you to get up before sunrise and you know say prayers and chants and 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 whatnot at this altar again when we talking about sunrise let's say your sunrise is you know 551 A hour before sunrise is going to be 441. When we take a look back at this article dealing with the witching hour, it says that some of the common presence or uh, activity will take take place between the hours of 2 and 4 a.m. So you have to be careful again. Because he used, he's using Christianity as the main substance to try to back all of this uh, fasting and, and, and spirits and all of that. 
So if that's the case, if he's telling you to build an altar, if he's telling you to build an altar and an hour before sunrise, he's wanting you to pray and 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 uh invokes or summon spirits. Who's to say that during the hours where you get the most supernatural activity, so allegedly, that you go to your altar and you say a chant or you pour a, some libations or you you do something and invites a presence into your, your life or your home that you are not ready for. Again. When you fast, you do not have to build an altar while you fast. You can fast. You, hey, I'm just gonna fast, you know, all day. You know, I'm have my water. I'm gonna have my tea. I'm gonna say, you know, my prayers or, or I meditate, and then you go on about your business. But when you talk about building an altar, y'all, an altar. Again, the spirit world is not just good spirits. It's, it's both good and evil energy. Positive and negative energy, man. So, you know, that's just my spin on it. I really enjoy being on, in, <laughs> on the platform with old buddy. And I would like anybody else... If anybody else want to come on the platform, please come on because we I, I want to talk about it. How do you feel? As a matter of fact, how do you feel about what black man said tonight? I didn't say what I'm going to say about Umar Johnson and playing with the spirit world. We done talked about that. So with that being said. With that being said. Come on the platform. Let's talk about Umar Johnson. And let's talk about what black man said. Or you can talk about what's going on. Um and just just black the black community as a whole. I got some people who said they feel like all of this stuff is false flags. It's conspiracy theories. Do we have some conspiracy theories in the house tonight? If we have some somebody uh that's a conspiracy theories in the in 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 the house, go ahead and hop on the platform. I done show I showed my dude what the city is saying. I showed black man what the city said. This man is saying it's a private school. He he ain't gotta say nothing. Man. Like for real. He he's talking about Umar Johnson can just walk in. That lets you know these people really don't know how stuff operate in the city, man. They don't they just don't know. I, he ain't got to say nothing to the city. Well, according to, how? How is that even possible, bro? You can't even. You can't do that. It's crazy. Do we have anybody that wants to come on the panel tonight? Man, I was again. I was not. Thinking that I thought tonight was gonna be something serious, man. So, how many people joined the Umar on his fast? I'm pretty sure while y'all sitting there starving, his starving y'all, so he eating them uh, Hunger Man TV members. We, I already said that I said Saturday the fast ain't working. He back on uh, Twitter talking about he running for president. So I guess the spirits is 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 telling him to 
run for president? Black man, if you want to come back on the panel, you you're more than welcome. My question to black man, hey, if Umar Johnson runs for president like he he's trying to do, are you going to write his name in on the ballot? Hmm? Are you going to vote for Umar Johnson? Call in, let us know. Who you voting for? Who you voting for, man? I want to know. I want to know who you voting for, man. Because, again, Umar Johnson um, is saying that, you know, you can write his name in on the presidential ballot. I just did a show Saturday about it, man. Nah, unfortunately, YouTube Streets, he's still saying that you can write his name in as of June, what, the 12th? He's back on Twitter saying that, hey, just write my name in the ballot. Come on back on the platform, uh, black man. Come back on the platform, man. You... This your show tonight, bro. You you supposed to be telling us why we should support Umar Johnson. Right now, you saying we shouldn't be tearing black men down. Okay, I hear you. But what happens when the black man keeps taking money? Ten years? Ten years, dog. Approaching eleven. We have a a, a guy by the name of Q Butter up in New York. Who has a school? He started a school, man. Black guy. Started in the house. And now it it has grown. He started with what he had. And everybody knows about Q-Butter. But here we have Umar Johnson and people like you capping for him. Talking about, well, maybe he'll start small. He ain't never said he was going to start small. He's never said he was going to start small. This man has been talking crazy the whole time. And we want Natalie to tell us all about it. How you doing? Oh, Natalie. You know, mute it. Mute it out. We got Natalie on uh on the platform, y'all. Let me turn the music down. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How you doing? I'm good. I wanted to call in earlier, but I'm just leaving the gym. Okay. Get your workout on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but I just, I don't know. Like, it, it, it's just baffling. Like, I just want to believe that black men is trolling. Like, nobody can be this ignorant. Like, and I'm being nice when I say ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> For all of you all that don't know, this is the young lady that black man was attacking in one of the Facebook groups that we're in. So with that being said, go ahead and talk to him. Tell him, tell us how you, how you feel about what he said. I mean, I, like I said, I want to feel like he's trolling, like with all of the information out there, like some of us have known about Umar for years upon years. So we've went through videos We've listened to the lies. We've listened to all of the rhetoric that he spews. Lennon, you and various other channels have like summed up everything and kind of made it clear. I mean, you can get the (laughs) rise and fall of Umar Johnson in about an hour. Like, it's really not that hard. And, you know, he's coming from the angle of we're all hating. Nobody is hating. It just pisses some of us off because I am a licensed therapist. So what Umar claims to do, I do that. And then, you know, you heard him in a video a couple months ago saying, you know, fam, I'm going to go sit for my license or I'm going to go take the test, but I don't think they're going to give it to me. The licensure board doesn't give you anything. You go and sit for a test, you pass it or you don't. 
Right. But I think another thing that people don't realize, if you don't come from this world of social services, you have about, and I know in my state, you have about, I think it's about five years after you graduate to sit for your licensure exam. If you don't do it within those um, time constraints, you're no longer qualified. So you have to go back to school. So if Umar supposedly had his degree over, what did he say, 10, 20 years ago, he no longer qualifies to even sit for a licensure exam. So it's not going to happen. Right. It's the same thing for me. Um, I only have my property and casualty license, but I only had a year after I took the class to apply for the state to take my exam. If I didn't, I had to start all the way over. No, you fine. Yeah, so you have to you have to start all the way over, um, and after a couple of years, like you have to go back and take. I think when you miss the first dot, uh, time frame, you have to go back and sit for like nine hours. But as long as this guy claims to have been out of school, he would have to go and sit for the exam all over again. And not only that, he would have to go to school. Like who has that kind of money and time for him to have six degrees? I tell you, I'm over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt, and that's just with. A bachelor's and a master's. I started on my PhD. I don't even want to tell you how much debt that is. Like, it, ooh, he, he got that kind of money. He got Dang. six of them. He got <laughs> six it. of them. How would you have time to do that, man? Especially a doctorate. Like you, it, it's not possible. Where did he get his internship? Like, where did he? Where did he do his residency at? Like, none of that is ever clear. All that stuff is public information. If he had a dissertation, that stuff is published. It's public. None of that exists because it did not happen. There you go. There you go. (laughs) It's pretty, pretty sad. And, you know, just on top of that, you know, even if you're not looking at his education and the fact that he lies about being a principal and having all these uh, degrees and certifications, you know, he wants to kill 10 percent of our black boys. Who in their right mind wants to rally behind that? And on top of that, he downs parents and talks bad about black women and black men for not being in their children's lives. But he's not in his daughter's life. There's a video where he didn't even know his daughter's middle name. How sad. That's that's hella sad right there. (laughs) That's hella sad. And on top of that, he targets black boys, black boys, black boys. Like some of the stuff he says, it's grooming behavior. (laughs) I ought to play the video clip of his interaction with the little girl. I think they were in a park. In a park. It it was so unnatural. It did not. I don't know. It made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. I'm Dr. Umar Johnson, and I'm a school psychologist, and I work in the schools. She's eight. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And then you're teaching her hatred. A is for African, B is for black, C is for Caucasian, and D is for devil. Really? Man. Really? This dude is something else, but if you play clips like that, they'll swell up and down. He and me, no harm and all that. <laughs> she, the little girl started laughing at him, and the little the, her mom like oh, yeah, they like, gathered her up, and they man, were about to get leave. The hell out of him! <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes to parks like a creep. Like who hangs out at jungle gyms? And then he gets upset because um people are circling or people are watching him they're trying to bring their kids to the playground oh got these caucasian circling i might have to pull out the shoddy who, like, who even talks like that like, it, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's sad and i mean i would just like to believe that black man is just trolling because there's too much you know all bs aside it's too much documentation out there and I mean these are not our opinions like these are facts these are things that came out of his mouth you know you go and defend his degrees but if you actually listen to him he will tell you well I never said I was licensed I'm not licensed and they quick to say oh well he went to court to defend no if you actually look at the court case he went to court but he was to it was to say that he never claimed that he was licensed yeah. which we all know that's a lie like the stuff that he does even if he was able to sit for the exam, he wouldn't be given a license because of what he does. He's already claiming to be licensed. Our first code of ethic, ethics is to do no harm. Man. Telling people to pull their kids out of special ed, telling people to take their kids off medicine. I'm one that's not for medicine, but there's actually some people who need medic Schizophrenics, like they don't exactly. function without their medication. You I know. Imagine. 
he 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 spews dangerous rhetoric into the untrained ear or to these parents who you know don't seem to be very well educated they take what he say and they do it like it's it's sad this is no disrespect to black man i'm pretty sure you still in the audience like you really need to listen to what's being said on this platform like here we have a, a young lady who's in the field that dr umar said he's a part of and she's giving you the real she's giving you the 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 real man you came on a platform and you didn't even know that you have to inform the city of what you're trying to do in that state like what you absolutely have to no matter if you're private or not it's still a part of that city you have there's codes there's all kinds of things <laughs> <laughs> man I mean, like i was just floored that he said well he's it's a private school so he don't have to tell anybody like you said unless he's a sovereign cit citizen and has declared that piece of wilmington delaware to be his own estate that's not how it works <laughs> period i don't care where you are that's not how any of this works well according to black man that's what you can do and you gonna get locked the hell up man <laughs> and i'm just letting you know but Man, I, I thank you for coming on the platform, Natalie. You got anything else you want to say? No, I just, <laughs> black man, I mean, for whatever it's worth, do your research. You don't have to take my words. You don't have to take anybody else's words on this platform. Do the research for yourself. Like, it's out there. And there it is. Thank you for coming up and sp sp spreading the knowledge. I'm getting tongue-tied, man. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Gotta slow down. No problem. No problem. All right. Have a good evening. All right. Bye. So there you have it, y'all. I mean, she she kept it real. She kept it real. I don't know. I don't know what else th that you could say, man. Like you came on the platform and you were supposed to come with the receipts. You can't come. On the platform talking about, oh, you 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 have to do this, you you have to do that. Yes, bro, you have to do this. This is not a fly by night. This this is why you are receiving fly by night results with Umar Johnson. This is why he is able to continue to get over on you because when he is confronted with individuals such as myself, Natalie, and countless others. We hold him accountable for the things that he's telling you guys. We hold him accountable. So in all actuality, you're telling us we're haters. No, we're actually educators because we're teaching you things that he's supposed to be teaching you, but he's not. And we're asking him, why is he lying? Why isn't he being straightforward and honest? Why does he have to sit on the couch for visitation with his kids? You got to ask yourself them questions, man. You can't just go with, man, they won't let me. They won't let Omar Johnson take, take the daughter nowhere because they just being mean. No, it's court ordered. Remember, he's on child support. It's court ordered how he has to visit his daughter, whether it's supervised visitations or not. And he's on supervised visitations. And you have to ask yourself, why is he on supervised visitation? It's a lot to this stuff, man. <laughs> Again, this this guy is in his 40s, man. He's in his 40s. When he was talking all this stuff, he was in his 30s, bro. That's 10 years that he's been getting money. And he's been all over the place to the UK, Japan, Africa. He ain't paying for it out of his own damn pocket. Like, come on. He's not paying for this. 
on, out of his own pocket. And the reason why you know is because he spends too much time. One of the reasons why you know he spends way too much time trying to defend his own stupidity. You don't have to, your degrees and all of that, they speak for themselves. Name one person who has a degree at that magnitude that is not showcasing it, man. You can get on, I'm, I know you're on Facebook because I've seen your Facebook page. It's nothing for you to take a look at all of the people who have graduated and how they're showcased, even though they weren't able to go to a real commencement ceremony this year. They're still showcasing their degrees. Look at Umar Johnson's old photos. He has photos when he went to the prom. He has photos when he was first starting to do lectures. You never see photos of Umar Johnson in a cap and gown at his graduation. As a matter of fact, if he was if he was that guy, if he was the most requested scholar, he would be a part of a fraternity. What fraternity is he a part of? What fraternity is is this man a part of? Again, he would have some type of rapport build with other professional doctors or something he wouldn't just be out here all alone looking dusty man and then you you were in the the chat room or or the facebook group disrespecting the women Telling them what they need to do. And I told you, bro, they finna drag you. They finna drag you, man. You, you really think public record is false information? <clears throat> you really can, you really want to believe that it's false information. He got evicted, dog. You can go on, on my channel. I have video uh, footage of inside his his trap house. He a hoarder, man. I believe that there are other people involved in the scam with Umar Johnson. I believe that. I believe the the we that he speaks of are other people helping facilitate this nonsense. He has a new EIN. I do not believe for one freaking second that he did that by himself. As a matter of fact, he probably didn't even file the... the for the EIN, it was probably somebody else. He probably did it. Somebody else did it. It changed hands. You got to think about this stuff, man. But again, you know, it's people that listen to the show that aren't all, you know, I'm not preaching to the choir when I make make these shows as you guys you know can see man it might have it might have been and what's her name Anne McMillan is that her name it probably was Anne McMillan that uh applied for that that new EIN Either way it go, this dude is always talking to the spirits. He's always talking to 
to dead folks. He's always in a cemetery. He's always in a graveyard. If he's not in the graveyard, he's at a park. If he's not at a park, he's always in that little hot ass hood of, of a house. If he's not there, he's in a car. When you look at other individuals, I I say Tariq. I look at his videos. I ain't going to lie. You'll see videos of him in his studio. You'll see videos of him in his house. You'll see videos of him with his family. And countless other people that's on YouTube. You see Umar Johnson in the same place. Places. He said he's a he's a scholar and he can't say the name Nancy Pelosi Pelosi. He was calling her Nancy Pelosi and he wonders why he can't get on a major talk show. The Roland Martin show is not a major talk show. Hell, he ain't even got that show. Damn, no damn. Mo. That's the only shit. That's the only thing y'all got is Roland Martin. That's all you got is Roland Martin, man. Since then, Tariq been on Fox News countless times. How many times has Umar been on Fox? At least Fox News. How many times have you seen Umar Johnson in front of the cameras of Philadelphia? Like, come on, he from Philadelphia. You would you would think he would be up a uh, Going off like he in the streets. Oh, here come Uma. He finna he finna bring the heat. Oh man, they going crazy up in New York. Oh man, here come Uma. He finna go off. Man, he's somewhere in a park somewhere running around, <laughs> yelling on the phone, talking to y'all. How many men talking about he does not do integrated marches, but we see photos of him at the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl parade. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. You can't be that gullible, man. And the fact that this is the time where he, man, if Umar Johnson took to the streets with a bullhorn right now, You mean to tell me his following wouldn't go sky high? If Umar Johnson, and, and yes, uh, he really was very disrespectful to the women in the group. That's what Umar Johnson teaches. That he teaches you, you to be disrespectful to women. That's a he was a true Umarian. He was a true Umarian to the T. They don't do any type of research. They don't know shit from shit. So um if Umar Johnson really like for real, if Umar Johnson went to uh went to the streets of any city that's having a protest and just started a rally like he he's always on twitter he's on twitter like all day and all freaking night so if he just decided to you know what i'm saying make a meme umar johnson is gonna be here in such and such starting a rally Everybody, I'm telling you, everybody would get behind it. Everybody would get behind it. All right. And exactly, that, that's it right there. Because he's not going to get any money, he's not going to, man, Umar Johnson, we're, we're now seeing Umar Johnson revamp a scam. 
He's coming up with a whole nother scam. Like, I'm dead serious. I'm I'm kind of tempted because there's so much information in the video. It's so much information in the in the video. As a matter of fact, he he shows he showed well, you know what? This is what I can do because I, I did read the comment section on this video. And so I can go through some of the timestamps. So give me one second. I'm I that's what I do. That way we don't have to keep on going through. I can skip to uh this part of the video. So forty I'm gonna start at forty two forty six on this video. Well, I gotta start at forty two forty one. All right, I'm going to show y'all Hold on. And again, if it's if it's anyone that wants to come on the platform, feel free. We here. We here. We had a Omarian come into the to the room as a special guest. He was supposed to convert us back to being Omarians. I think he failed miserably. He crashed and burned. So we're about to see on the same video that we were supposed to be covering tonight. Look how somebody tried to slide in. I want y'all to listen to how somebody tried to slide in. Hey, right. and let me know if y'all can hear um, in the chat. Y'all should be able to blow it up for y'all. Listen, listen to how this sister try to slide in, y'all. Come on. Much work to do, baby. Get rid of it. Most definitely. Most definitely. And whenever you're ready to go to the Cheesecake Factory, I'm down. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ua. Thank you. After the fast, she trying to get to the Cheesecake Factory. I mean, she trying to get into the Cheesecake Factory. Right after, you know what I'm saying? After the fast is over. So you already know what that means. You already know what that means. So let me keep on going. Try to find some more. Uh, we already... Take, took a look at why he um, repeats himself. Hold on. Let's see. And so many. Let's see, what's this time stamp I'm talking about? Here you go. I need your blood. See, the ancestors are God's security guards. What the hell? Hold on. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm getting... Um, I'm getting some messages that somebody's trying to come on the platform. Let me drop the link back in. So, the ancestors are God's security guards. So, God has security guards. We might have to just, we might have to watch the video. And if anybody want to come on the platform, you more than welcome to come on. But we might just have to go on here and spin it, y'all. Because it's so much crazy. <laughs> it's so much crazy shit he said in this video. I'm serious. And he revealed a, another scam. He trying to, uh, let's see. I went and took a look at some information. He's trying to buy some uh, or get money to get an abandoned town. I told y'all he liked to go over trending topics. 
So abandoned towns are trending right now because of the one they posted it in Georgia. So anyway, we yeah, we're gonna have to spin the video because this dude is ridiculous. And again, if you're trying to come on the platform, go ahead and jump on. We here. And people without color. That's it. White represents the white light of consciousness. White represents the white light of consciousness. Our ancestors are reflective of the white light of consciousness. So you need a white sheet. And you need a white candle. A white sheet. And you need a white candle for the ancestors. A white sheet and a white candle for the ancestors, okay? And then once you get your candle, you're gonna need you some incense. Pick up some incense I got, okay? Frankincense and myrrh with some sacred sage. Frankincense and myrrh, okay, with some sage. You got your candle, you got your sheet, you got your incense, and then you need a vessel of water. You need a vessel of water, you need some water, water for the ancestors. Water is very important for spirit. But he didn't say why. Okay. Get your water. And then you want to decorate your altar. Not too much, but you want to decorate your ancestral altar with objects that contain the ashe of your departed relatives. What are we talking about? Your grandmother's pipe. If you have your grandmother's pipe, put that on the altar. You have your grandfather's favorite hat. Put it on the altar. Your little niece, she passed away. You have her little uh, shell top Adidas booties. Put them on the altar. You Crazy. have your cousin's favorite brush. Put it on the altar. Little objects from all your blood relatives. Only blood relatives. Only blood relatives. You put them on the altar because all that right. invites their energy. OK, and when you're ready to talk to your ancestors and for the 21 day fast. All right. So we're going to pause it right there. We got a call. Going to go ahead and bring my man YouTube streets on the line. YouTube, how you doing this evening? What's good, bro? Man, I can't even call it. We listen to this crazy fool. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm how you feel? Like, I'm good, man. How you been? Man, I've been cool. I've been cool, man. I, I can't complain. But tell us how you feel about this idiot tonight, man. I mean, I'm just listening to this for the first time, and I'm just like, um, it's it it just seemed like something that, uh, I don't know. He's just auditioning for some movie or something. It don't, it don't even really seem real. He just he just like whatever comes to his mind, he's just gonna just say yeah. And now you know. The ancestors want you to do this and want you to do that. He just, it just sounds like he's just making it up as he go along. So, you know, I'm I'm just listening to it for the first time. So you just keep on playing it, and maybe I, I comment on it as I hear it. But it just all just sounds like gobbledygook to me. But man, that is all it is. Um, <laughs> this dude, I I cover. Um, part one of this video i i think it's like two hours long may, maybe three see i'm with you i it's very tough for me to even listen to him because he's just such a scammer dude i mean he tries to dress it up and finesse it and make it sound like he's just so intelligent the most requested scholar and all this shit i mean if he's that why don't he have tenure nowhere i mean questions that he answers y'all he need shouldn't he have tenure if he's just so you know filled with all of this whatever he's filled i know what he's filled with i mean if you're gonna keep it real we're gonna keep it a, a, a stack but uh that's a, that's a different conversation so yeah man I you mean, can speak your speech i mean speak i'm just speech. saying we know what he filled with i don't know what you know <laughs> we already know <laughs> but yeah so yeah, you go ahead on, man. I'm just this is my first time ever calling any type of show or whatever, but you definitely my homeboy. So I'm just just popping in, just listening. Word. To what you're about. 
So man, we're we still working on the collab. You guys yeah. stay tuned. You stay tuned. I have been slacking on my end, me but too, I promise, man. um, bruh, too hit me up. On. You know, you know how to reach me. Yep, get with me. Absolutely, man. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Peace. All right. All right, y'all. So again, if you want to call in, you have some thoughts, you know, you want to share, go ahead and, and hit the link. And so give me one second. Alright. So a lot of a lot of you guys haven't seen the video. So we here. I ain't having I do not have anything going this evening. We are here. We're gonna break it down because that's what the people want to do. And if anybody wanna come on the platform, do so. If any Umarians want to come on the platform, you know what to do. You must all right, here we go. Sit and talk to them every day. For the 21 day fast, you must sit and talk to them every day. Okay? For the 21 day fast, you must talk to your ants because we're building up strength, connection, power, blessing, grace, ashe. So you want to talk to your ancestors every day of the fast, every day. And you light your candle and light your incense. Pour your libation. I, rep I recommend you get a plant. Get yourself a plant. Get yourself a plant. You have a big vase of water, clear, beautiful vase. Get something nice. Don't use this. Don't use this. Get a vase, fill it with water, and then you pour the water into the plant. A couple drips, and you call each ancestor's name three times. Three is the number of access. Three is the that opens the road. You call each ancestor's name three times. There you go. He again, like I said earlier, this is why he says everything three times. Okay? And then you talk to them as if they were sitting in front of you because they are. You talk to them as if they were sitting in front of you because they are. You talk to them as if they were sitting in front of you because they are. And you say grandparents, cousin, auntie, niece, nephew, I'm fasting. I got some issues. I need to work on my, my diet. I need to work on my business. I need to work on my anger, my profanity. I need to work on my fears, my anxieties, my depressions. I need to do more for the black community. I need African people to organize. I need us to love each other, to come together and fight against this. Will you help me do this? Will you help me do this? I need you, ancestors. My family, my, my husband, my wife, we're having problems. I need your blessings. I need your blood. See, the ancestors are God's security guards. What in the world, man? Your ancestors are God's security He said our ancestors are God's security guards. Hold on. I had to refresh the video because it wouldn't let me pause it anymore. So just give me one second while it loads. Our ancestors are God's security guards. While the video is loading in the background, let me go ahead and come back on the screen. Like, I, I agree. I, I totally agree. Like, this dude is 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 saying some crazy stuff, y'all. Here you go. It's back. Three is the number of access. Three is the number that opens the road. You call each ancestor's name three times, okay? And then you talk to them as if they were sitting in front of you because they are. You talk to them as if they were sitting in front of you because they are. You talk to them as if they were sitting in front of you because they are. And you say grandparents, cousin, auntie. Niece, nephew, I'm fasting. I got some issues. I need to work on my, my diet. I need to work on my business. I need to work on my anger, my profanity. I need to work on my fears, my anxieties, my depressions. I need to do more for the black community. He's telling on himself, man. 
He's telling on himself. He's telling you everything he needs to be praying for and what he needs to be doing. I need to be doing more for the black community. You damn right. Because you owe. You owe, bro. You owe. You owe. And see, listen to this is a good comment right here. I have never heard of calling the answers three times. At, at at some point in time, you have to consider this is charm. That's why I said you got to be careful. You doing this stuff during certain hours of the, of the morning and the night when in certain uh, religious ba backgrounds and spiritual backgrounds, it states that certain activities go on at that time of, of night or early morning. And again, since he's coming from a Christian background, when he's saying this stuff, that time frame is 3 a.m. Between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. As a matter of fact, it says when it comes to the Christian belief that if you wake up at that time of night, if your spirit is disturbed and you, you are startled out of your sleep, you are to try to return to sleep. You ain't supposed to go and try to investigate. But this is not about that. But I can speak to it because I was all the way deep in Christianity. And so he's telling you to say stuff three times and 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 do all of that. And you're mocking. You're mocking, man. Again, he said out of his own mouth in the first part of this video. That he's starting the fast in Gemini and Gemini is duality. And I stated that the duality in Christianity would be Christ's death being at 3 p.m. And the duality to that would be 3 a.m. for the, the demonic side. You got to be careful with this stuff, y'all. I'm for real. I ain't making this stuff up. I ain't making it up at all. But let's continue. I need African people to organize. I need us to love each other, to come together and fight against this. Will you help me do this? Will you help me do this? I need you ancestors. My family, my, my husband, my wife, we're having problems. I need your blessings. I need your blood. See, the ancestors are God's security guards. He just made that up, man. Your ancestors are God's security guards. He just made that up. Like, look at his face. He don't even lead that shit, man. Now, God don't need no security, right? We know that. But when I say that they're God's security guard, when you need something from spirit, you're told to ask the Lord, and you should ask the Lord. The Lord, y'all. You're not finna tell me he's coming from African spirituality, man. You're not finna tell me that he's solely talking African spirituality, man. Man, I'm just telling you. You're not finna, you're not finna tell me he ain't, he's not doing that. Miss Foster keeping it real. That's why I put a message on the board. She she just keeping it real. It don't even matter what what you come. This is 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 it's a mockery, man. I'm telling you. But let me let me just keep it going. <laughs> let me just keep it going. It's the Lord to give you access to the thing you need. You ask the Lord to give you access to the things that you need. After you ask the Lord to give you access to the thing that you need, you then ask the ancestors to help deliver the thing that you oh need. Oh, my God. Do you understand? No. Let's say you go to the mayor's office and you I tell don't. the mayor, it's a big tree I need cut down in my backyard. The mayor isn't going to physically come and cut that tree because he's the mayor. She's the mayor. They're the king of the city. They don't do that work. They're too high for that. Almighty God is not your servant. 
You serve the Lord. The Lord don't serve you. Dude. Oh, man. This... You serve the Lord. The Lord don't serve you. Dude. So you call on God to give you access for the thing you need. But then you turn and you ask the ancestors to deliver it. The this man is coming up with a brand new doctrine right now. And we are witnessing him write a doctrine, y'all. These are ideologies, man. 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 Ancestors will come and help you cut that tree. The ancestors will come and help you cut that tree. Not God. Who do you think the creator is? The creator is too great for that. Too high. Too divine. The creator don't serve you. You're out of your mind if you think the creator's job is to serve you. It's the creator's job. Okay, to approve your request. But if you don't have a good connection with the ancestors, your request may never come to fruition. A lot of us never get what we supposed to get because we do not have a relationship with our ancestors. You are them and they are you. When you're pouring libation, you're actually pouring libation to yourself. Man, what in the holy hell, man? Because you are a living manifestation and representation of the ancestors. So build an ancestral altar. Now, some of you are like Dr. Umar. I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm a Muslim. I want to do this, Doc. But I'm not comfortable with the ancestors. No disrespect, Dr. Umar, but I wasn't raised with that. My religion has brainwashed me into thinking that dealing with the ancestors is something wrong. I'm not ready, Dr. Umar. No problem. No problem. There is no compulsion in consciousness, political or spiritual. No problem. There is no compulsion in consciousness, political or spiritual. You don't have to deal with the ancestors if you can't. Okay. If you are not comfortable, don't do it because it won't work for you if you do. If you don't have faith in the ancestors, if you don't have optimism towards the ancestors, it's best you do not do it. It can be disrespectful. So it's, been, it's disrespectful now, man. Your fast purely consists of you reestablishing your relationship with the most high. We welcome you. We welcome you. I don't want anybody doing anything that they are not comfortable with. I don't want anybody doing anything that they are not comfortable with. I don't want anybody doing anything that they are not comfortable with. But for those who are ready to meet your ancestors, I invite you. For those of you who are ready to meet your ancestors, this is no better time. You're going to get 10 days of Gemini energy, and then you're going to get 11 days of feminine, African, divine energy with a solar eclipse for the first time in 19 years in June. Did you not hear this mess, man? Did the symbolism or man let me just keep going man you're gonna let that go by if you're ready to introduce yourself to your ancestors i recommend you do that build your altar build your altar now some people have asked me for a daily ritual i'm gonna give you all the daily ritual i'm gonna take a few questions and i'm gonna end this a daily ritual man it's 225 Eastern Standard Time. We will be done by 3 p.m. approximately. It's 225 Eastern Standard Time. We will be done by 3 p.m. Okay. Some of y'all texting me, but I need your name. If I don't have your name, I can't save your number. Somebody just texted me. I'm fasting, but you didn't tell me who you are. I want your city and your state. Follow directions, people. Your name, your city. And your state, and make sure you say, Dr. Umar, I'm fasting with you. Name, city, and state. Dr. Umar, I'm fasting with you. Okay? Why does he need your name, city, and state? And why does he need to know that you are fasting with him? Why does he need to know that? If it's in spirit, why does he need to know that? Why does he need to know that? It's very important for you to ask those types of questions if you plan on joining him in this nonsense. Because 
there is a such thing, yeah, as a spiritual altar, but there is also a, a, a such thing as a, a devil's altar. You don't know what this man is really trying to worship or, or, or do with your name and he calling out names and spirits. And stuff. You don't know. You been there and said, Dr. Umar, I'm joining you on your spiritual fast. You tell him where you from and on his end when he's doing his rituals and spirits and chantings and all that stuff. He's calling out your name, city and state, but he's saying some foolishness or something negative or dangerous behind it just to draw energy from you and then crazy shit start happening in your life and you don't even understand why and wh where it's deriving from man i, I want to give you a ritual that you can use this is my ritual you can come up with your own ritual. Remember, this is not religion. This is spirituality. Spirituality is flexible. Spirituality is dynamic. Spirituality is modifiable. Spirituality is an open road. This ain't religion. Nobody's coming to you and beating you over the head saying you got to do it this way. That's religion. That's spiritual dictatorship. This is not a spiritual dictatorship. This is not a... Did he just not just explain a spiritual di dictatorship, man? Spiritual dictatorship. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. And once we get the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy open, every night when we do the fast next year, because we're doing this every year, we're doing this every year. When we do the fast next year, when we do the fast next year, every night we're going to have, we're going to break the fast inside the school. <laughs> oh, man. Wilmington, Delaware. We're going to break fast inside the school. And for those of you who can't be at the break fast in the evening at FDMG, we will put you on the big screen so you can still tap in. As we break fast and we'll probably have some activities. We want to make this fun because we're doing this for the race. This man is lying his ass off right now. We're doing this for our freedom. We're doing this for our liberation. We're doing this for our personal connection to our ancestors. We are not doing this for no religion. We're doing this for Africa. We are not doing this for no religion. We're doing this for Africa and African people. We are not doing this for nobody's religion. We're doing this for Africa and African people and for redemption and success. That's what this is about. Man. So let me give you my ritual. Here we go. Sunrise at 5.30, 1 a.m. tomorrow. Dawn, which is that period before sunrise. Here we go. Dawn is that twilight period before sunrise, which is usually about 60 minutes before the fast, before sunrise. So if the sun rises at 5.31 a.m., dawn begins at 4.31. I just told you, when it comes to um, the devil's hour and witching hour, you have to be careful with those time frames when you talking about doing shit like this. You're supposed to believe in it. So if you believe in this shit, if you really believe in it, I ain't, you know, no disrespect. I ain't calling the shit because I, I ain't trying to dis disrespect anyone. But for real, this stuff is dangerous, man. And he's not giving the other sides of it all. He's just telling you, oh, yeah, just lay down stuff at the altar and uh, get a piece of hair from your ancestor and they favorite brush, the pipe and all that. And give me the information. Let me know you're doing it with me, man. Dude, 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 dude. Let me go ahead and, and keep going. This is dangerous, y'all. So dawn is from 431 until sunrise. You should, I recommend you wake up during dawn, whether that's 430, 445, 5 o'clock. Wake up at least 30 minutes before you begin your fast. You should not be asleep when you declare your fast for that day. Every day you're going to declare your fast. Every day you're going to declare every morning you must make a conscious intent 
to the supreme creator, to your ancestors, to your spirit gods, to any divinities. You want to declare your intent to fast because remember, this is an offering. You have to declare your offer. I'm offering my fast, my sacrifice to you in exchange for blessings, protection, grace, guidance. So you have to be awake when you declare your fast. OK, so wake up, get something to eat. I recommend you eat something. 15 hours is a long time. 15 hours is a long time. 15 hours is a long time. We have a couple of uh, religious idiots popping in. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of this. It's a shame we can't respect each other's spiritual path. You are disrespecting everybody's spiritual path, man. It's a shame, but that's what happens when you grow up in a spiritual dictatorship. That's what happens when you grow up in a spiritual dictatorship. That's what happens when you grow up in a spiritual dictatorship. They believe fasting began with a 1500 year old religion. They believe fasting began with a 1500 year old religion. Let us stay focused. So. You're going to wake up at least 30 minutes before the fast. Grab something to eat. Nothing heavy. Man, this Remember, we're fasting crazy, now. This is a sacrifice. So you want to eat a bunch of food so you're full all day. No, no, no. Some oatmeal, egg sandwich, green smoothie, sardines, couple pieces of fruits, fruit smoothie. Eat something. Okay? So you have energy for the day. You're eating so you have some energy because you still got to do work. Okay? And then after you do your eating, you want to go to your altar, your prayer rug, your altar, your shrine, okay, your basement where you can get some quiet. You want to create a space because that is your spiritual vortex. That is your spiritual vortex. Your shrine is a vortex. Your prayer rug is a vortex. Your See? altar is a spiritual. It's where you can tap right into energy that you built up, that you've See, this is dangerous, y'all. Accumulated through constant prayer, constant meditation, constant chanting. And at your shrine, your altar, your prayer rug, your prayer corner, you're going to declare your intent verbally or silently. Verbally, I intend this day to offer my fast as a sacrifice to the supreme ruler of this universe. Yeah. And secondarily to my ancestors, spiritual gods, and divinities. In exchange for this offering, I ask for divine guidance, for divine clarity, for divine direction. I ask that you help me with character, with discipline, with destiny. He's talking about himself. Okay. And then you pray however you want to pray. You pray however you want to pray. I do recommend that you touch your head to the ground because in African culture, the earth is a divinity. It is a deity. It is a manifestation of God consciousness. And you can touch the earth or kiss the earth. We come from the earth. We go back to the earth. The earth. The earth. We go to the earth. Earth, 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 earth. Touch the earth. Kiss the earth. We come from the earth. We go back to the earth. Kneel your head. The Muslims borrowed that from African culture. The Muslims borrowed that from African culture. Okay. Now, so you've eaten, you've done your prayer. Then I recommend when the sun starts to come up at 531, you can watch the sunrise. Some of you are lucky enough to live somewhere. You can see the sunrise. I recommend that while the sun is rising, you engage in deep meditation or you start chanting. And let me explain the difference between prayer, chanting and meditation. Let me explain. Well, that's what you call it if you're Muslim. I'm not I'm not a Muslim, so I don't use your terminology. I'm dealing with an African cultural perspective. But he's mixing in those ideologies. That's why somebody said that, man. That's why he, that's why he's addressing that comment. Here, y'all borrowed that from African people that existed before Muhammad. I know it's hard for you to understand that, but it did. Anyway. Prayer is when you request something of Almighty God. We only pray to God. You make a request. Lord, help me. Lord, thank you. 
And we got to make sure we thank the Lord. Some of us always begging. We never thankful for what we got. <laughs> if you are ungrateful, your prayers will not be answered. If you are ungrateful, your prayers won't. How often have you thanked God for what you have instead of constantly? Man, he about to, the choir about to come out and start singing a song, man. Begging for more. How often have you thanked the creator instead of begging for more? You have to learn how to say thank you and stop begging. Sometimes your prayer should just be thank you, Lord. Dude, come on, man. If y'all don't feel like, if y'all don't feel like for, for those who've been to church, you don't feel like you sitting there and he preaching, man. I don't know what to tell y'all. He's preaching, man. Come on, man. This things I can ask for, but I'm not going to ask today. I just want to thank you for all you've done. <laughs> I want to thank you. Man, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be that funny, but golly. Thank you for all we've done. Okay? Okay? But while the sun is coming up, well, prayer is asking God. Meditation is listening to God. When you meditate, you get quiet. When you meditate, meditation is the silence of mind so you can hear spiritual instruction. Meditation is the silence of the mind so you can hear spiritual instruction. Meditation is the silence of the mind so you can hear spiritual instruction. And I recommend that you pray, chant, and meditate every day of the 21-day fast in the morning before the sun comes up and in the hour just before the sun goes down. Let me repeat that. For the 21-day fast, we're going to pray, chant, and meditate during dawn before sunrise. And then we're going to pray, chant, and meditate one hour. That's some dangerous stuff, bro. Before sunset. So you're going to do it before sunrise. You're going to do it before sunset. Twice a day. So that's at least two prayers a day, two meditations a day, two chantings a day. Meditation, you get quiet. And if you're a beginning meditator, you can start using some music. So, for example, I'll meditate to some African music. Sometimes it can help me quiet my mind by drowning out all the distractions, right? So I'll give you some of the African music. Okay. Let me see here. Library, albums. Some African music. The Big Papa playlist. I'll to some African music sometimes. Help me block out everything, get quiet. What is going on right now? And while I'm, my eyes are closed, I'm picturing my third eye, brothers. And I'm putting all my energy on my third eye. And I'm silently asking God to help me open my third eye so I can. He sounds like Ray Hagens. He sounds like Ray Hagens. Look at his face. He's spiritually better. You're going deep, going deep. That's how I meditate, brothers and sisters. Okay? So you can meditate using music. You can also use a symbol or an item. You can use a symbol or an item. Okay? Here's a statue of the boy king. The great Tutankhamun, Come on, whose bro. name means the living image of God. The great Tutankhamun, whose name means the living image of God. Bro. Those of you who went with me to Egypt two years ago, we visited his tomb. We visited the tomb of the boy king. So I might meditate on an object like this to help maximize and intensify our connection as African people to the original people of the Nile Valley and to divinity, to royalty. We are royalty. So I'll put this in front of me and I'll stare at it intensely, silence in my mind of all thoughts and focus on that original African Nile Valley royalty. Okay. 
So you can use you can use an image, you can use music. Okay? Man. You can also use a mantra. And a mantra is really chanting, right? So I'll say something like these this is mantra I use. I exist in God and God exists in me. I'll say that. I exist in God. God exists in me. I exist in God. God exists in me. I'll say it out and I'll say it quiet. And then I'll get so deep that I can stop saying it. And now I'm at a point of total silence. And when I'm at that point of total silence, that's when spirit can start speaking with me. Okay. Sure. You could use a candle flame. Yes, you can. Whatever you need to silence your mind so you can focus because we got to get quiet. If you don't get quiet, you won't pick up the vibrations. Spirit doesn't speak in a voice. Spirit doesn't always speak in a voice. Spirit will speak with an impression. You will feel it. You will know it. That's how spirit speaks. You understand? Spirit don't use voice. Spirit use impression. You. This dude is just saying stuff, man. I'm telling y'all. Go into a meditation and you'll come out and you'll say, wow, I know where I need to move to. I'll know what business to open. I know who I need to make my wife. You understand what I'm saying? I know what I need to do about this problem. I know what I need to do about that. Spirit speaks through intuition, not with a voice. I exist in God. God exists in me. That's one of my many mantras. Whatever mantra you use, it got to hold power for you. Your mantra must hold power for you. If you are a Christian, there's a lot of strong verses in the Bible. There's a lot of strong verses in the Bible. You if you're Muslim, there's a lot of strong verses in the Quran. Of course, if you follow African spirituality, the Odu Ifa, right? There's a lot of strong verses in the Odu Ifa. And I don't even know where I put my Odu Ifa. I just had it. Oh, right in front of me, right? So I'll get some verses out of the Odu Ifa. If I want, I go to the Odu of Lukumi. Uh, okay, man. sometimes I read the Odu of Lukumi, and you can actually get the Odu of Lukumi on your iPhone. Okay, you can get it on your iPhone. They have this whole thing available on, on the iPhone. So if you want the Odu of Lukumi, okay, the, the original Holy Odu, you can get all of that, brothers and sisters. Okay, but find you some mantras. You can make them up out of your mind, but you must meditate and then you chant meditation you listen chanting let me tell you what chanting is in yoruba culture there's a concept known as afo ashe o f o a s e afo ashe o f o a s e afo ashe afo ashe afo ashe is word power our words have the ability to influence our reality you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Right? So when you chant, when you chant, you're using Afo Ashe to impact the universal matrix, the universal force field. You're using your word sound to impact your universal force field to help bring about the destiny and the ends that you desire. So, for example, let's say I need a wife, right? I I'll chant that universe the universe will provide me with the exact type of woman i need at the exact time i need her the universe will provide me with the exact type of woman at the exact time i need her the universe will provide me with the exact type of woman at the exact time i need her do you did <laughs> he tell it on himself and i'm chanting that i'm chanting that my ancestors is hearing that my spirit guys is hearing that almighty is hearing that the orisha is hearing that the lowers are hearing that the abusum is hearing that the eyami is hearing that the egg bay is hearing that the netters are hearing that you understand that is chanting chanting you affect the world through your voice very powerful so you're going to pray in the morning one hour before sunrise this is a dictatorship. He's telling you what you're going to do. You're going to get something to eat. You're going to pray. You're going to meditate. 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes of meditation followed by 10 minutes of chanting. A 10 minute prayer, a 10 minute meditation, 10 minutes of chanting every single day for that hour before sunrise. 
And then sun sets at 8.30. So at 7 o'clock, you're going to do a prayer. At 7 o'clock, you're going to do a chant. At 7 o'clock, you're going to do a meditation. And then at 8.30, you're going to pray. Same thing. Prayer, chant, meditation. And then you're going to break your fast. You're going to get something to eat. And that'll be your fast for the day. Now, in between the prayer, chanting, and meditation and dawn, prayer, chanting, and meditation before sunset, take an hour and journal. Start a spiritual journal. Write down your spiritual questions. Talk to your ancestors. Ask them about what you want. Ask them about what you need. Very important. Okay? Write down your goals. Take another hour and write down your goals. Exercise for an hour. Go for a walk for an hour. Okay? And then you might get on YouTube and watch an hour of Amos Wilson. Watch an hour of Dr. Clark. <laughs> oh, watch man. an hour of Dr. Ben. Watch an hour of Chester Williams. That's what, that's what he been watching. Those are our ancestors. We're trying to reconnect to the ancestors. So get put some videos in and study because this is spiritual and political. I'm going to show you some of my political books. I showed you my spiritual books, right? I'm going to read some Bible. I'm going to read some Gita. I'm going to read some Quran. I'm going to mostly read the Odu. Okay? I even got the Dao De Jing over here. I'm going to read some Dao De Jing. This is another one of my favorite books, the Dao De Jing. Okay? And then after you do your spiritual study all day, now you got to do your political. Oh, so what we got? Man. Black Power in the Garvey Movement. I've already read it twice. I'm going to read it a third time. Black Power in the Garvey Movement. I'm just giving you some ideas. Any book that you feel you need to study because we got to wake up your consciousness. Okay? Martin Delaney, Grandfather of Pan-Africanism, The Condition, Elevation, Immigration, and Destiny for the Colored People of the United States. Remember, this is the brother who said Africa for the Africans. It was Martin Delaney who said Africa for the Africans. It was Martin Delaney who said Africans for the Africans. Man, he keep rubbing his nose. Marcus Garvey added those at home and those abroad. Kwame Nkrumah, the CIA files. Kwame Nkrumah, the CIA files. Kwame Nkrumah, the CIA files. In terms of the incense, I love these. I love resin incense. I love the resin. This is uh, fredsoul.com. F-R-E-D-S-O-L-L.com. They out of Mexico, New Mexico. Fredsoul.com. I love these incense. F-R-E-D-S-O-L-L.com. I wanted to order some more of a Mystic Essence, but they're not shipping out right now. I love Mystic Essence. Black-owned company. Try to support black businesses the whole 21 days. Mystic Essence. OK, and only black businesses to the extent you can, but they're not taking orders right now. I love mystic essence. I'm opium. I love opium. OK, then you need your candles, right? When it get dark and you do your meditation. I like to meditate in the dark. I love to meditate in the dark. OK, get your little ant candles. I love to meditate in the dark. OK. This is one of my Oguns. OK. Kwame Nkrumah, CIA files. Thomas Foxwell Booten, the African slave trade. Right? Civil wars and coup d'etats in West Africa. Look at him. He keeps rubbing his nose. I'm glad that I played this. Like I, I'm, I'm glad we we breaking this down, cause dude, this is ridiculous. Africa, civil wars and coup d'etats in West Africa, takeover, race education, and American democracy. Okay. How Africa underdeveloped Europe by Pan Africanist Walter Rodney. How Africa underdeveloped Europe. This is a good book. If you want to read on African spirituality from a Yoruba concept, African spirituality from a Yoruba. Old
Lumare is the name of God in Yoruba culture. This is a real good book. It's not, it's not written by a Yoruba priest. It's written objectively, uh, it's written objectively from the perspective of a religious scholar who does not practice African spirituality. This is pretty good. If you want another book on African spirituality, I recommend this. Afro-Caribbean religions. I recommend this book by Nathaniel Samuel Morrow. He's a professor. This is really, really ridiculous. Like, uh, all of this is sad, man. At the University of North Carolina. But this was printed at Temple University Press in Philadelphia. Okay. This is the book, Afro-Caribbean Religions. Okay. African Caribbean Religions. Okay. Last thing I want to say is this. At night before you go to bed, at night before you go to bed during the 21 days, at night before you go to bed, make sure you text me if you're fasting because I'm probably going to start a WhatsApp group for the fasters. I'm going to start a WhatsApp group just for everybody fasting. So text me regular and then download WhatsApp to your phone. Text me regular and then download WhatsApp to your phone. Text me regular and then download WhatsApp to your phone. Before you go to bed at night, make sure you communicate your intentions to the Most High and to your ancestors for the night. If there's a question you got, make sure you ask it before you go to bed. You have to do this. You got a big problem going on in your life. Almighty God, as I go to sleep, please provide me the answer to this question. To my ancestors, I know y'all want me to be successful. I have this issue. This is my issue. Can you please shed some light on this problem while I am asleep? Our this dude is really starting a religion. I'm telling you, he, he this is this is religion, man. This is a cult. He this is cult at this point, y'all. This is a verified video of him preaching. For like the, I ain't never heard him talk like this. Not like this. Ancestors communicate through the dreams. Our ancestors communicate to the dreams. Our ancestors communicate through dreams. Make sure you ask them before you go to bed and then go right to bed. When you know you're about to lay down, that's when you ask the question. Don't get distracted. If you know you're about to go to bed, not have no sex or none of that, you're about to go to bed. Lay down, ask your ancestors your questions, go to sleep. Spirit talks to us through dreams. That is an African tradition. And I also recommend. This is my spiritual journal. I record all spiritual coincidences in this book. I record all spiritual coincidences in this book. It stays on my ancestral altar. I'm not going to show it to you because this is between me and my ancestors. Okay. But this is a book I have. It has all my spiritual coincidences in here. I keep track of them and you should write down your dreams. I write my dreams. He just said that I'm not going to show you. It's between me and my ancestors. And he, he opened up and showed, bro. Here, I write my synchronicities in here, I write my coincidences in here, and then I go back and review them because dreams, synchronicities, and coincidences are your ancestors' way of trying to communicate to you. If you don't write them down, you won't be able to connect the dots. If you don't write them down, you won't be able to connect the dots. If you don't write them down, you won't be able to connect the dots. So get you a nice little book and record all of a spiritual journal. This is my spiritual journal. You need one as well. Okay. And it would hurt to have a staff. This has my G and Yami symbol. Because oh, with the staff, man. we tap the floor three times. <laughs> one, two, three. And call the ancestors. You call your ancestors' names. Father Belly, one, two, three. 
Grandma Sayla, one, two, three. Grandma Jenny, one, two, three. Man, Grandma Betsy, one, is... two, three. Grandma Young Dude. Betsy, one, two, three. Grandpa Steven, one, two, three. Grandma Caroline, one, two, three. Grandpa George, one, two, three. Grandma Annie, one, two, three. Grandma Caroline, one, two, three. Grandma Vivian, one, two, three. Grandpa Cicero, one, two, three. Grandma Ida, one, two, three. Grandpa James, one, two, three. This Uncle man Clifford, is one, two, losing three. his Shanika, mind. One, two, three. Great-great-grandma Gertrude. One, two, three. Great-great-grandpa. He's losing his mind. Charlie, one, two, three. Great-grandma Curly. One, two, three. Great-grandpa Robert Shoemake Jr. One, two, three. Great-grandpa. Great-great-grandpa Robert Shoemake Sr. One, two, three. Great-great-grandma Emma Holliger. One, two, three. Great-great-grandma Dillion. One, two, three. Great-great-grandpa Isaac. One, two, three. Great-great-grandma Eileen. One, two, three. Great-great-great-grandpa William Thomas Tillman. One, two, three. Uncle Billy. One, two, three. Grandma Betty Jean Shimmick, one, two, three. Uncle Eric, one, two, three. Uncle Dennis, one, two, three. Uncle Nancy, one, two, three. I say, I say, I say. And you spill the water, spill the water on your plant. Spill the water. Three taps, three taps. Ah, my incense is starting to get to me. So you do your three taps, right? I'm not crying. It's just the incense. My incense got stronger when I start calling the ancestors, right? And then after you do your four and <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? Ancestral lines. After you do your four ancestral lines, after you do your four ancestral lines, then you call your African racial ancestors, right? Your African racial ancestors, okay? I'm going to do an oral live, baby. Marcus Messiah Garvey, Henry Holland Garnett, Harriet Tubman, Fannie Lou Hamer. This is ridiculous. Ida B. Wells. One, two, three. Shaka Kazinsa Kagona. One, two, three. This is crazy. Robert Purvis. One, two, three. Martin Luther King. One, two, three. Three. El Haj Malik El Shabbat. One, two, three. Blood relative Frederick Augustus Washington Belly Jr. Great aunt Annie Douglas. Cousin Charles Douglas, 54th Massachusetts Regiment. Cousin Louis Douglas, 54th Massachusetts Regiment. Little cousin Annie. Cousin Rosetta. Frederick Douglas Jr. I say Mama Wayman. Papa Wayman. Man, he is, this is this is this is crazy. This is crazy at its finest, y'all. And who are the people in the background, man? Where is this dude at? Where is he at, man? Where is this dude at? Francis Henry Wayman, Bishop Alexander Wayman, seventh bishop of the AME Church, one, two, three. And you tap. Okay. I got this in Ghana, but you could get a stick. Go outside and get you a stick, a strong little branch, something strong, and you tap. Tap the ground. The ancestors are in the ground, right? But their spirit travels all over. You tap that ground and you call up them spirits. Okay? That's how that goes, brothers and sisters. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't fasted in 11 years. Some of y'all said you don't know your ancestors. Well, guess what? Guess what you're going to spend your time doing while you're fasting? Recreating your family tree. It's time for you to recreate your family tree. Find your ancestors. Remember, even if you don't know who they are, they're still with you. They're still with. Some of y'all think you got to know their name. No. After you call the ones you know, you say, all of my ancestors near and far. And I tell you, this stuff is dangerous. And you going to wind up inviting some mess into your house or into your life that you can't shake off whose names I do not know I call on you to walk with me and help me improve my life and walk my destiny and serve almighty God and you tap one two three that's what we do let me take a few questions go ahead and tap in a few questions tap 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 in a few questions. Tap in. I'm gonna get if nobody tap in. I'm out. Yeah. 
Who are those people in the background? Hollywood. DJ Hollywood. Hey, Dr. Umar. Back in the world. How you doing, boss man? Yo, uh, <laughs> that man wave. I a little bit late to the live, but I has got a quick question about the fast because I'm starting to with you. you I'm, in the, I'm in Walmart right now. I'm in uh, Miami, Florida. Okay, go right ahead. I'm right here in Miami. Just curious question. I'm um, I just started like redoing my tree so I can start getting more into like spiritual with my ancestors. I just want to know what the fast. Are there any particular things that you want us to stay away from so that we can actually be have the temple more pure? Going back to our central nature, right? Mm -hmm. Terrible internet. From the first episode. So, if you break with. This is terrible. Oh man, this is terrible, y'all. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm, we're gonna go dry right now. We're just gonna stop. We're gonna do a liquid fast right now. But then you saying well, no stop? How long for ten days now? Sunrise to sunset. Okay. Man, okay. look at this people. Yeah. This yes, sir. Follow, they don't know anything on. about what he's talking you about. Should break your fast with something from the earth. Get you some fruit. Get you some vegetables. Break your fast with something from the earth. What you eat for dinner is up to you. Again, you want to eat light. You want to eat healthy. We want to do that anyway. But break your fast with something from the earth. Next tap in. Next tap in. I think we're getting close to the girl that said that she... uh. Want to go to the Cheesecake Factory at the end of the phase? Courtney going once. Courtney going twice. Hey, Dr. Umar. How you doing? Where you I can't hear you. What did you say? Where you at in the world? Where you I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston, South Carolina. Last time I was in Charleston, oh, there you 2015, go. There you go. The day yeah, before Charleston. the day before the Dylan Roof tragedy was the last time I was there. I actually see your picture in Hannibal's all the time. So that was my last great to be on here with you. But Charleston, I just want to ask some questions um, about go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, just some questions. No, I was so just right now. <laughs> in Charleston, I am starting a boycott King Street because of, I don't know if you've seen the racial injustices that's been happening yeah. because of owners, but I have a few people that are brothers and sisters who are not organized, who are not understanding why we're calling for this boycott. What would you give me for advice to assist he ain't even out there in the streets how he gonna give you some advice in trying to rally up some a movement and he ain't even got a movement his damn self and educating them on why this is important what is the end consciousness works and what that mm -hmm. means bring them along with you don't lecture to them. Okay. Lecturing doesn't work. Just say, come along and watch us. Come along okay. and experience us. That works mm -hmm. a whole lot than just directly lecturing them. Just act, just come along. We ain't asking you to do nothing. Just we just want you to watch. So what about when you have naysayers who are trying to undermine what we are doing and don't see the validity of what we're doing? Why are they still around you? Why haven't you? Rid yourself you of the naysayers. You, you got ready? a good point. You got a good point. Which work? Which work to do, baby? Get rid of. Most definitely. Most definitely. Oh, and whenever man. you go to Cheesecake Factory, I'm down. <laughs> I got you. Man. I got you. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ua. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, you.
When the fast is over, we going to the cheesecake factory. Oh, when the fast is over. Oh man, there you go. Look at it in his eyes. He looked pervish right there, man. Look weird. Call Benny Dries, Benny Dress, Benny Dries, Kylie Benny. Good. How you doing? Peace and love, black man. Where you at in the world? I'm in Germantown, Maryland right now. Down Maryland. What's on your mind, beloved? All right. So, man. everything going down everywhere right now. And I've been really preaching to my peers that, because they're talking about protesting and all that, right? And I've seen your. I seen your live about it. I'm against it, all right? I think if we've done it too much. Um, I'm really into Garveyism. And it sounds like we're the Israelites in Exodus. And I'm thinking his phone trash. Pretty much boycott the country, boycott the state, and find elsewhere to put our tax dollars in. You know, because everyone wants to boycott. We want to buy black only businesses. But they still get that money. We still feed the police with our taxes. We still feed the government with our taxes. And so the solution to me is Exodus, you know, like, let's leave. Where you going to go, bro? Leave, you know, I'm now where that's another situation. <laughs> but I feel like that's the conversation we should have versus protesting. And I wanted to know what you thought about that. Okay, can you hear me? You can leave when with nowhere to go. I hear you perfectly. Okay, number one, never oppose for another person that isn't damaging the community. So, for example, I'm not out there protesting because I don't do integrated protests, right? But he ain't starting his own protest. But I'm not going to stop them from doing it. I'm not going to be voting in November because neither candidate is worth anything to me. But I'm not going to discourage anyone else from voting. It's very important that we don't stop our people from doing what they think is right if it's not hurting nobody. Do you follow what I'm saying? I follow you. Protest ain't hurting nobody. Them voting ain't hurting nobody. So you don't want to become a reactionary that stops what other people believe is effective. Let them do it. They will learn on their own time. We just have to do the things that you and I believe are necessary. All right, man. I'm tired of hearing him and black dude. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, my brother. Think about doing the fast for this too. Think about it. Everybody understand that? No. We got a future without Africa. We got a future outside of Africa, but there's no future without Africa. Almighty Shada. Where's the Almighty Shada at? Brother Umar, what up? Peace and love. You at in the world, beloved? Yes, I wanted to ask. So, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I'm in South London right now. You said South but, London? Yeah. But obviously, I'm, I grew up in the States. I grew up in Brooklyn. But I wanted to ask, so how do you suggest we go about building up the communities from right now? All right, man. So I don't want to see no more of the... Umarians call in uh, and talk to him. So that's that's it, man. We we got through the video. We was able to break down the information before we even got to it. We was on the air with the Umarian. I want to say that tonight's show was a damn good show. We've been going for about three hours, y'all. And we can still go, but I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to end it right here. If anybody want to get on the panel, of course, we still got that. If nobody's going to get on, we're going to go ahead and cut out. 
Cause we already we we done broke it down. We done broke it down. There's the uh there's the link to come on the panel. Let's see here. We have anybody wants to come on the panel? Do we have anybody want to come on? He's saying, warn them. After you warn them, it's on them. I warned this brother that came on the show. He couldn't even see, you know, the uh, the screen. Hopefully, he goes back and looks at the live, and he sees, you know, the Wilmington, Delaware, um, the article that I showed. Where the city is in talks about demolishing them buildings, man. That's what the city is is talking about doing. 